everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaki and today I have a very special announcement. So I think a lot of you know the drill by now and will know what is coming just from the title of this video. But we are back, me and Waverly Reads are back with another round of Rumour Season. Now if you don't know, you probably do, <laughs> if you don't know what Rumour Season is and you just stumbled across this video, first of all, Hello, welcome. Rumour Season is basically a seasonal 24 hour readathon that me and Waverly over at Waverly Reads host. We've done it for many seasons before. I think actually Rumour Season Autumn, which comes after summer, of course, will be a year of Rumour Seasons. So we're really excited to celebrate that and we're gonna do something really special, but that's what this video is about. So Rumour Season Summer will be happening on June 16th, which is kind of just on the cusp of summer. I think it's in the transition between spring to summer. It's kind of perfect weather to go out and read. Every time we do these readathons we have six optional challenges. Obviously we're not expecting you to read six books in 24 hours because it is over 24 hours. We encourage you to double up or you don't have to do these challenges at all. We do to make it more fun and to structure our reading and just to like feel like a sense of accomplishment I guess. If you have never seen my channel or never heard of Rumour Seasons before I will leave all the necessary links in the description box below such as past announcement videos and past readathon vlogs so you can go and check them out. I'll also leave the Twitter down below as well so you can also go and see any details that you need to participate. Without further ado, here are the optional challenges for Rumour Seasons Summer and also my TBR. Number one is always a colour kind of related challenge with Rumour Seasons. So for this one, we've obviously picked Summer Colour. That can be anything that's summery to you. But to me, it's pinks and yellows and oranges. For this challenge, I have decided to go with Slay by Kim Karan. Now, I heard about this from Kit Kats Can Read's channel and I was just instantly sold. All I really know about Slay is the fact that it's about this band and they are you know slaying the charts haha <laughs> get it they are slaying the charts in the day as this really cool rock band but at night they slay demons and when I heard that synopsis I was absolutely sold and I had it in my Amazon car literally like two seconds after she said that so I'm really happy that I can finally read this and to me the cover looks very summery like you can't really get much summery than this in my mind you've got yellow orange pink red the whole shebang. The next challenge is that summer is all about trying new things. We encourage you to try a book from a genre or with a format that you're unfamiliar with. Now, I have only really read one graphic novel in my entire life, so I thought, why not use a graphic novel for this one? This is a book that I don't own yet. I'm going to be reading Saga. I believe that Saga was written by Brian K. Vaughan, and the art style was done by Fiona Staples. Basically, all I know about Saga is the fact that it takes place in a war in space or a cyber war or some kind of war and two of the soldiers from opposite ends of the war fall in love with each other and possibly have a baby and this story is about them like running away and trying to raise their child I think I'm not entirely sure that could be like totally wrong but you know I'm here for it I'm ready I've heard that it's very explicit in it's like graphic design and you see some things without expecting to so I'm very very excited the next two challenges I'm going to be doubling up because in my head it just kind of makes sense the third challenge is to read a book outside. I think every single summary readathon has to have a read outside prompt. So there is yours. Obviously, we don't know what the weather's going to be like and weather in the UK is very unpredictable. So I don't know if we are to, you know, fulfill this. It might just be raining. Um, but I think if it's warm, we'll spend most of our time reading outside. So maybe we'll just fulfill the challenge multiple times. Number four is to read a book with a body of water on the cover. For this one, I have decided to go with Bear Town by Frederick Backman. This is the cover. Obviously, it has a body of water there it has a river and then it has like a reflection it just kind of made sense for me to read this one outside i don't know why it just gives me outside feels what i know about bear town is the fact that it's all about um sexual assault i think bear town is a really close and parochial uh like village town thing well bear town and then one of the most like respected members is accused of sexual assault or um sexual harassment and the entire like town goes against this one girl because she's accused one of the most respected members of society of one thing that everyone hates so i'm really excited to see this and see if what i'm thinking it's about is right i'm not actually sure but we're gonna find out the next challenge is based on the context of june if that makes sense so our fifth and penultimate challenge is to read an lgbtq plus pride book that can be in terms of sexuality it can be in terms of gender just as long as it's diverse and celebrates lgbtq plus identities everything is fine so for this one i have decided 
decided to go with Georgia Peaches and Other Forbidden Fruit by J. Robin Brown. Jo has been out for many years. I think that she's a lesbian, but I don't actually know. All I know is that it is a female female romance. Jo is out and proud, and then her dad moves and remarries, and they have to move to Rome. Jo's dad asks Jo to kind of like turn down the sexuality bit and to lay low, and Jo agrees. And then she meets Mary Carson, who is the sister of one of her new friends at her school. Now she's rebranded herself as straight. She finds somebody and is basically in like two minds whether to actually go after her because she, that's what she wants and who that's who she's fell in love with or she should stick to the deal that her and her dad set out for her to lay low in Rome and so him and his new wife can settle down. Really excited for this one and I will let you know what I think after I read it. So me and Waverly always try to include a challenge that is quite silly and fun. Last round we had an easter egg hunt style. I think that one of the times before we had blindfolded. We've had quite a lot of challenges where we pick books in a silly manner. This time is no different. It was really hard for me and Waverly to agree on something that was summery um, because we both have different experiences of summer and she was suggesting a hopscotch and I was like that's not summer at all and then we both came to agreement that these things were summer. <laughs> like this is the epitome of summer. If you've never seen one of these before it's basically a fortune teller. That's what they're called like I didn't make that up. And basically you have to like do this. You have colours on the outside. I have yellow, green, red and orange just because I think personally they're the most summery colours. And then on the inside, normally on a normal fortune teller if you're just doing it for like friends and stuff, you would normally have numbers on the inside but for me I have fictional characters. I have Faraday and Rowan from Scythe, Edward and Jacob from Twilight, Katniss and Peter from The Hunger Games and Jason Clary from The Mortal Instruments. Why are we using this may you ask Shakira? Well, I am using this to determine the order of my reads. I think Waverly is doing it totally differently but the thing is with these silly challenges we can't tell you how to do it because there are so many ways you can do it. I believe Waverly is doing it so she has eight new reads um, so that she picks one. If you want to go and see her do that and see how that might work differently to mine I'll pop her like announcement TBR video in the Twitch once below. There are four books so basically just to make it fair I've put every single book in twice and we're gonna do this um for the order I guess. Hello and welcome to the fortune teller section of this video. So I wasn't gonna do this, we're actually filming my video um, but I ran out of time unfortunately so I'm gonna have to just do it now. So we're gonna go from last to first. So the first one is, I'm gonna pick orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. I'm gonna go Jace. J-A-C-E and then I think Edward. E D W A R D. Oh my god. Uh, Clary, I guess. Um, Clary is Bear Town. Y E L L O W. Damn it. I'm gonna go with Jacob, I think. J A C O B. Yay, finally. Let's go with Peter. P E T E R. And we'll go Jace for this one. Next read, Saga! R-E-D, I'm gonna go Faraday, F-A-R-A-D-A-Y, Jacob, J-A-C-O-B, and we're gonna open Katniss. My second read is going to be Georgia Peaches, which means my first read is going to be Slay. So my first read is Slay, my second read is Georgia Peaches, my third is Saga, and my last one is Bear Town. Enjoy the rest of the video! Well, there was my Rumor Seasons Summer TBR and announcement video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe and go and follow our Twitter page for Rumor Seasons. There is one and we update them on there as soon as we know certain attributes and details to the readathon. As soon as we decide, basically like a few days afterwards, you guys know as well. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you on the 16th of June for our next round of Rumor Seasons. I'm very excited for these books because I've wanted to read them for a very long time and we'll see you then bye you got a face for a smile you know a shame you're wasted when you're breaking me slowly but i've got a word